farter? I am a farter. I fart real good. Dude, I am looking like Savage Psycho Joe with this mustache. That's fucked. Big yay. Blueberry boy. Gay mustache, father. That's the point. See, my point is the beta males that want to blend in and look like everybody else are doing those beards these days. You know, beards, tattoos, vaping, dress sneakers. You guys know that. That Rob Bailey look. You know what I'm talking about. Um, you got to be a man to sport a mustache. Anybody can grow a beard and try and fit in. <clears throat> Twink otter look. Israel's our number one ally. ally. They're really our only ally in the Middle East, but I wouldn't call them our number one ally. Um, if you look at history and not politics, Australia has been with the United States in every single war we've ever fought. Okay? Not even the United Kingdom can say that. I believe Australia is probably the only country in the world that has been with the United States in every war we've ever fought. So I would say Australia would have to be our number one ally. Then the United Kingdom, then Israel. USS Liberty, dumbass. What's that? Today's a good day for a mustache ride. Australia is run by China, I heard. Canada is with you since we beat you in the War of 1812. Israel tried sinking our ship, the USS Liberty. When was that? In the 60s? Nineteen sixty seven. I don't care what Transform X has to say. He, he's not a real person, okay? A troll who doesn't expose his true identity who cares what they say? They have zero credibility. If you want to be a troll, be a troll. But don't take people to expect people to take what you have to say seriously. I mean, come on, brah. Come on, man. J. Burt Reynolds. Yes. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're cracking open that canned coffee again. That's right. Starbucks double shot. The hotel bar Saturday night was rather slow. 
can't cuck the duck. That's funny. Jay, how far could you run? I could run to the nearest toilet if I really had to. No farther. <clears throat> How far can you triple hop? About three feet. You need to shave the beard so the stash gets more pronounced. Yeah, I will. I was in a hurry Saturday before my live stream. So I just used the beard trimmer. I didn't get out the foam and the razor. Ever shit in the shower? Um, no. Remember, Israel hasn't always had the greatest leadership. I really like Netanyahu, though. I mean, remember, there, there, there's political parties in Israel that are extremely liberal. <sighs> Have you ever surfed? No, I don't think I could get up on a surfboard. I'm way too heavy. I'd have to, I'd probably have to get down to like 220 to get up on a surfboard. I don't have an evangelist pastor, sorry. I know I don't believe what they say about Israel on fucking CNN or MSNBC. And I don't necessarily believe what they say on Fox either. The truth, you, you got to you gotta figure out your own truth about Israel. Because you're not going to get it from any American media. MSNBC and, and CNN are going to side with the leftists, the Marxists. They're going to be very anti-Israel. Fox News is going to side with the globalists, like the Mitt Romneys and the, you know, uh, Liz Cheney's. I know he's dead, but John McCain, that cocksucker former governor of fucking Ohio. Fox News kind of panders to that fucking globalist, um, center of the road Republican Party. And CNN is, it, well, when you say CNN is globalist after I just said Fox is, you're kind of right. Like, tell me the difference between Hillary Clinton and Mitt Romney. If, if, if you go point by point on, on, on what where they stand on issues, Mitt Romney and Hillary Clinton are going to stand almost exactly the same because they're both globalists. One just happens to be a Republican, one just happens to be a Democrat. Well, conservatives used to be fiscally responsible, you know, but Ever since George Bush, the fucking, even Republican presidents have been spending our money like a drunk sailor. <clears throat> Unfortunately, if you want to get reelected, you got to be somewhat reckless with the taxpayers' money. Conservative stash, yeah.
My God, Zach, I can't read that. <clears throat> globalist shields. Yeah, the globalists are the worst. I don't care what party they're in. You know, you got a you got a clown like um, Jeb Bush. He's he's not that much different than a Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Really think about it. Compared to what's going on nowadays, Barack Obama wasn't even that much left wing compared to what's going on right now. I think fucking this idiot we got in the White House right now is making Obama look like Obama did a pretty decent job. One thing about Israel, you know, they're taking advantage of Joe Biden being in the fucking White House. You know, Biden doesn't have the balls to try and to try and uh, negotiate a fucking ceasefire. So Israel's going to take out as many of the Hamas leaders as they can. This wouldn't be happening if Trump would have got reelected. <clears throat> Biden is completely weak and ineffective. If you got kicked out of the U.S., where would you move? Belize. By Hamas, do you mean Big Rock Fitness? I tried watching that Cassidy Campbell video where he dressed Rob up like a fucking wigger. I couldn't watch it. With that do-rag on Rob, that's when I turned it off. I, you've got to have the IQ of about 90 to find that funny. The same kind of people that think saying ooey and gooey over and over. They think that's funny. <clears throat> Cassidy is a vet? I don't believe that. Thought he was a spoiled little rich boy like Bravo. He was in the Navy. Cassidy said, I'm a draft dodger. How's that even possible when I'm, for one, I registered for the draft when I turned 18, and now I'm too old for the draft. I'm not even eligible. So how am I dodging it? Average military IQ is 85. You're probably on to something there because of all the uneducated urban people that join the military. I mean, the majority of our military are Southerners, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. You know, not, Spanish Americans from the Southwest and the common American Negro from the Deep South is the majority of our uh, military. Are you getting ready to buy a steak for yourself Memorial Day? Why not? I got the I got a job. How many people at Brad's barbecue on Memorial Day are going to be unemployed?
<laughs> Who is Bra? Bra? cares about Cassidy Campbell, honestly. He can say anything he wants about me. <clears throat> Cassidy's got a pretty successful YouTube channel. I mean, I give him credit. I, I just don't find it entertaining. I'm sorry, I, you know, that type of humor was funny when I was in like the 10th grade. <laughs> the wigger is funny. Cassidy just shows how dumb PMs are. I, I don't know. What's the best stack for clit gains? Um, I would have to say something very androgenic. Um, I would imagine Trent would, would turn your clit into a little Vienna sausage. Um, but orals have got to be real good at doing that, too. So I would have to put D-ball and Anadrol up there. I think if your main goal was just growing your clit, you would, you would probably want to cycle Tren and uh, Halotestin. Grow Ben Franklin again, Fada. Yeah, halo testing isn't anabolic enough to really be of much use. George Floyd said, you stack Halo with anabolics. Yeah, I agree. Like something like Equipoise that is not androgenic at all. You stack in some Halotestin. You know, one's 100% anabolic. The other one's 100% androgenic. You know, Halotestin and EQ is a match made in heaven. But we were talking about click gains, brah. <clears throat> You could do a low dose trend with your TRT. I, I went over that on Saturday. You can do 200 tests, 200 trend, and then just cycle off the trend and stay on your 200 test. There's no problem with that. You could do that with any anabolic. You could do that with DECA. You could do that with, with EQ. You could do that with Primabolin. Probably work the best with DECA. Or mix it up. See, guys on TRT have the advantage. They never have to go off. You guys that, that want to do PCT, you're always starting from scratch.
best roid for an early 40 year old who never did any. Well, if you can get real antivirus, I would say that would be good. But most antivirus is fake. Usually it's Winstrel or D-Ball. Something real cheap. You know, an underground lab can make, make fucking Winstrel or D-Ball for pretty cheap. Put an antivirus label on it and sell the fuck out of it. Anavar and Primabolin are, are the two drugs most often um, counterfeited. A lot of times what people think they're buying Primabolin, and it's nothing but Tessipinate. And then they write a review of how great the Primabolin is. Well, you were just, you were doing a bunch of tests, you moron. Test and DECA is a good first cycle, absolutely. There's probably more muscle walking around America right now that's been built on test and DECA or test and D-ball than, than any other combo. Uh, no, if, 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 a, if an underground lab is on eroids, those trolls on eroids will ruin somebody selling fake juice. And they'll get kicked off eroids right away. Eroids is a really good place to, to read reviews about underground labs. <clears throat> but remember, you got you got you got fucking underground labs that are, that are paying troll accounts to say good shit as well. PCT is post-cycle therapy. Um, generally, HCG, Novel Dex, and um, what's the oral? I forget. Clomid, yeah. <laughs> Noveldex is a terrible anti-estrogen to take with your cycle, but Noveldex is the best AI to take during PCT. Whatever AI you take when you're cycling, if you want to do PCT, switch to Noveldex for your PCT. I can't explain why. I don't. I probably knew why a long time ago. And I forgot. Nova Dex. Some people call it Novel Dex. That's how Big Rob would say Novel Dex. Calorie loves black cock. Who's Calorie? Father, are you overprotecting your pack? Time to up the weight again. No, I'm good, brah. I up here, some of the muscle is is permanently torn away from the tendon up here so um like you know how, you know when you when you touch your pec tendon there's meat around it on this side i really don't have any meat around my tendon i can actually feel the tendon so uh it's going to be permanently weaker so i'm just i'm good man i'm 52 years old I, I could probably, you know, look how good Jay Cutler looks. If I if I wasn't, you know, if I wasn't a, a slob, I could be bigger than Jay Cutler. Yeah, you don't.
don't need to lift heavy at 52. You can get by just benching 25 for reps. Come on, brah. Uh, I wouldn't blame the cuck. It's just, dude, you get to be my age. You can't do it anymore. You just get to the point, you know, anytime you do anything, you're, you're risking injury. Father is Jay Cutler on steroids. I'm Jay Cutler on fucking Burger King. Ooh. Well, deadlifting's a different program. I mean, I could be a deadlift specialist. Look at how many old guys can't bench anymore, can't squat anymore, but they still have a pretty good deadlift. That's common as fuck. That's like the cookie cutter over 50 power lifter. Terrible bench, terrible squat, but he can still deadlift fucking, you know, 700. You'd snap your spine, Father. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ready for it. I deadlifted 405 for 10 reps, rather rather quickly after my uh, double knee surgeries. My deadlift came back so fast after my knee surgeries, it, it scared me, and I stopped doing it. Four oh five for ten is not that good, Father. For someone fifty two, it is. Remember, keep my age relevant. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not twenty five to thirty. I'm sure there's plenty of people that wish they could deadlift four oh five for ten who never will deadlift 405 for 10. You look about 70. Yeah. I'll look a lot younger once I cut my hair. This ridiculous haircut makes me look way older. I need to get the clippers and just start cutting my own hair. Cut it all one length. Yeah, I, I could drop 25 pounds and still be overweight. <clears throat> More like drop 50. You know, the thing about keto, every time every time I wanted to have a couple drinks, I'd have to track down a motherfucking liquor store instead of a beer store. That's the big pain in the ass with keto. Yeah, you can't drive around with a fifth in your commercial vehicle.
when are you going back to the Joe Exotic look? I'd like to. I don't think Brad is willing to cut my hair anymore. I wish he would. No, mommy can't cut hair. Chuck Basher said, Mother, please. I've heard Genova say that. That's funny. Mother, please. Yeah, you guys can call me Mother. If some of you want to be baby boys and you, and you want to suck on Mommy's titty, you can call me Mommy. I'll breastfed some of you little boys that want to be diaper fetish. I understand some of you, some of you little baby boys don't want to have a father. You want a mommy. I get it. You guys that are calling me mother, you guys are the type of guys that like to be put in diapers. And then, and then when you make a mistake in your diaper, you like to get a, a spanking. <clears throat> Fuck, anybody else having bad allergies this season? Jesus Christ. Also, there's some kind of weird fucking bug hatch going on up here up north, Pennsylvania, New Jersey area. Some kind of creepy fucking bug that only hatches like every 17 fucking years. What the fuck is that? They're all over the fucking place. Chicadia. Yes, exactly. Chicadia. Chickadas. I don't know which was right. Hatches. You guys love the way I talk. My Michigan accent. We get our cheese from Wisconsin. Hey, guys, you going to watch the Michigan-Wisconsin game? Who do you like between the Lions and the Packers? What about the Bears? How the Bears going to be this year, guys? How about them Bears? <clears throat> the Bears. Packers. The Packers, the Bears, the Lions, and the Vi Minnesota Vikings. That sounds like Wisconsin, bro. Well, the the Detroit and the and the Chicago accent are actually very similar to Wisconsin. You, you get past Cleveland heading west and everybody pretty much starts to talk the same until you get to Nebraska. <clears throat> Maybe the UP. The UP. The UP. Upper Peninsula. The Upper Peninsula is like Canada South. Yeah, what's up with them bugs, man? The Kirkadias or whatever they're called? Fuck. I just saw a huge swarm of them. They, they said that um, by the weekend, the amount that are hatching every evening is going to be absolutely fucking crazy. I 
wonder if they the fish eat them. I wonder if they, I bet they, they land on the water and the bass just go crazy killing them. Can you train at 15? Of course, 15 is the perfect time to start training. Father, do you post on Ruckus? No. But I'd like to. But um, I probably, if I ever, if I ever get an account on Ruckus, it's going to be a troll account and no one's going to know it's really me. Because the kind of shit I'm going to put on there is the kind of shit I don't want people knowing it was me. Ugh. I heard there's some dickhead on there, some probably, um, he's probably on the aut autism spectrum. Um, I can't remember his username, but I, I saw some of the screenshots of, of this guy talking shit about me. And he types in all capital letters and he talks exactly like Uncle Dave Rosoff. No, I don't have an account there. People send me screenshots of this jerk off. BFD, that sounds like it. It's his, his username is his initials and the year he was born. BFD sounds familiar. BFD says you're menti. Oh, see, now I'm getting the truth. Someone sent me screenshots of this clown, and they want me to order 66 on, but I, I don't know anything about the situation. I'm not going to order 66 somebody based off a screenshot. But I did see some screenshots where he was hoping I would blow my head off on a live stream. That's not cool, bro. I don't know. If that's the thing, you don't, you can't trust screenshots. But um, there, there were quite a few different people um, trying to get me to sixty-six. This guy. Uh. And he talks exactly like Uncle Dave. All capital letters, saying, saying "You don't know me, nigga." That type of shit. Misfits hate you because you make fun of a disabled child. You are an old, drunk piece of shit. Dude, back up for a second. How many of them actually hate me? Or how many of them might just, when they're in certain company, they'll talk shit about me because they're getting fed a free steak? So think about the context of what you just said. Remember, I don't I don't need to pay people to be my friend. Yeah. I, I like Scott Mendelson. His bench technique is pretty awesome. I've read a little bit of a, about it. I, I watched some videos. 
I think he was trying to teach. Who's that big, big, big Mexican kid out of South South California? Big boy or something like that. I, I watched a video with Mendelssohn trying to teach big boy how to bench, and um, it's it's a very interesting concept. But um, you know, especially for raw lifting, Mendelssohn's technique. He's he's trying to teach you how to use. Your, your natural bone structure as a bench shirt. And it makes sense. I've tried it, um, not going heavy, just I've, I've, tried, I've tried it goofing around with some lighter weights. And, you know, you can kind of feel what he's talking about. Best rapper is Notorious B.I.G. I mean, come on, man. You need you need to choke yourself for even asking that question. I don't watch Strongman in a long time. Strongman's gotten a little gay. Now, Notorious B.I.G. has fucking lyrics that are just fucking crazy. Um, if, if, if you're just hanging out having a good time and, and someone starts playing some Notorious B.I.G., and you really take the time to listen to the lyrics instead of being just an ignorant racist fuck, you realize that the, the man was pretty genius with lyrics. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not saying the man was a genius. I'm saying he was genius with lyrics. Scott Mendelson's Natty? Sure he is. Thoughts on Jason Blaha? I, I really don't have any. Do people even watch Blaha anymore? One time, I called it uh, Russian high volume training, and a, a bunch of you Blaha fanboys fucking just went nuts. It's German high volume training, and I'm not exactly that's. I haven't really done any research to see who's right. Are you packing, Jay? I'll tell you what, approach me and find out. I'm actually looking to buy a new gun, something smaller, so I can carry even more places. I'm looking at I'm looking at the Ruger GP101, which is a um, it's a little five-shot revolver. You know, normal standard is six shot, but this is a very small gun. It's only got it, it's it's only a five shot, and it, it's got a, a two-inch barrel, but it still shoots a 357 Magnum, and um, you can't cock it because because it, it it's what they call hammerless, 
um, the, it's got a hammer inside there, but it, it's shrouded on both sides with metal so that it, the, the hammer won't snag in your pocket or in your purse or wherever you carry it. So it, it's basically double action only. Single action is when you cock it with your thumb. So this is a double action only, five shot, 357 with a little two inch barrel. Fuck. When, when you're over 300 pounds, you can put a little gun like that in your gym shorts and no one has any idea you're carrying a fucking gun. So if there's anybody out there that's talking about wanting to sucker punch me at LA Fitness, well, that wouldn't be a good idea. LCR, Jay, look it up. No, I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced. I want the Ruger GB 101. I, I want a little five shot fucking 357. I want the little brother to my um, 44 mag with a nine and three quarter inch barrel. I don't need a huge gun to carry in my pocket. Smith and Wesson makes a little five shot. Everybody does. But look, 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 I already own a Ruger Super Red Hawk 44 Magnum with a nine and three quarter inch barrel. I'm used to Rugers. I like Rugers. I've had that gun since like 1995. So I want to get another Ruger and, and have, you know. My Glock 45 is, is fucking huge. Those of you guys, a lot of you guys, um, you know, you probably, most most people carry 9 millimeters or 40s. Dude, a 45 is a big fucking gun because the bullets are so big, the grip has to be big to hold the magazine. That's why a lot of people don't like 45 because the grip is fat as fuck. So if I was gonna if I was gonna walk in LA Fitness with my Glock in my pocket, everybody would know I was I had a gun in my pocket. Whereas this little 357 I'm looking at, you never knew I had a gun in my pocket. I don't need to expand my brands. If, if I keep my automatics to Glock. And I keep my revolvers to Ruger. That's all I need to know, brah. Expanding your brands is stupid. When, when, when you've had two brands, you know, since 1995, you know, come on, man. I've also got a Glock 9mm, a Glock 17 and 9mm. That's a badass weapon. I just don't like it as much as my Glock 21 in 45. Uh, you really, you know, I, I, I know it's fun to have a ton of guns, but really, as far as pistols are concerned, you really only need three pistols. Unless you're one of those people that thinks you only need one. Um, you need a high-capacity semi-automatic gun 
like a Glock or a Sig or, or whatever, whatever your choice preference is, a nine or forty or forty-five. Then you need you need a long barrel fucking uh, Magnum. You know, even if you don't hunt, you still want a long barrel Magnum. Then you need a little teeny one for your pocket. And I don't like I don't like automatics um, as pocket guns because they're normally pieces of shit. Yeah, 45 single stack. That's for people with small hands. See, I, I, I got big hands. I don't need a single stack. You know, it really, it really, you know, the best gun is the gun you like and the gun you're good with and the gun you know how to use. We can argue till we're blue in the face about what's the best gun. But if, if you know a gun, and you're good with a gun. That's the gun for you. Like, like I've had my Glock 17 and my Glock 21, you know, s since the mid 90s. I mean, come on, man. Why would I switch? That would be retarded. I mean, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to get a 40, you know. I mean, technically a 40 has more firepower than a 45. But I don't know. I just like the sound. I just like the idea of putting a, a 45 through someone's chest. It's just a, a bigger hole than a 40. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting an automatic as a pocket gun. No way. My pocket gun is going to be a little teeny revolver with no hammer. shrouded hammer so it'll be double action only little five shot with a snub barrel does it eat that i got a 22 um made by the same company that makes the desert eagle um, the company's name is Magnum Research. I've got a Magnum Research um, 22, and um, the name of it is the Mountain Eagle, and it's basically a polymer backpack gun. Um, and it, it, it's basically a survival gun. It, it's a it's a polymer gun with a steel insert for a barrel, and it looks exactly like a, a Desert Eagle. Not exactly. It looks like a Desert Eagle, um, but it shoots a 22, and um, I, I, it's got like a fucking huge barrel on it because it's a survival gun. It's made for, you know, it, 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 if you get stranded up in the mountains and have to shoot rabbits and squirrels to survive until, until help gets there. Um, and, um, you know, I like the gun. It's cool looking. You know, it, it takes twenty it takes twenty round magazines, which is nice. But I gotta tell you, the quality it just quite isn't there. It jams. I don't like the trigger. So, good guns. You don't ever hear people talking about jamming. Like, if if someone's got a sick or a Glock, you, you never hear them talking about, oh, it jammed, you know what I mean? Good guns don't jam. I'm not a cold guy. I'm not saying cold doesn't make good shit, but I'm just, I just think that one. Uh, see, 
Colt and Smith and Wesson, when it comes to revolvers, are, 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 are such fierce competitors that the cylinder on the Colt and the cylinder on the Smith and Wesson rotate in opposite directions when you pull the trigger. And um, I'm not really sure which way the Ruger goes. The Ruger either goes the same way as the Colt or the same way as the Smith & Wesson. I'm not really sure which one it, it, it agrees with, but that that's why I don't want to get involved in the Colt and Smith & Wesson fucking revolver fucking wars. Because, because come on, man. I want to stick to know what I know. Yeah, I like shotguns too. I, I like that Mossberg um, 12 gauge pump with the short barrel and it, it's got the flash suppressor barrel with the fucking teeth on the front of it. Little pistol grip 12 gauge, all blacked out. No, it's not a Mossberg 500. It's um, it's a combat shotgun. I think the military uses them. Could be a 500, but it, it's a definitely a, a military version. It's got a pistol grip. It, it's got the teeth on the front of of, of the flash suppressor. It's little, man. Just little, little twelve gauge, but legal. Walmart shirt. I'm not sure who makes this one. Probably. Who cares? Wait. These stupid, stretchy workout shirts, it's almost stupid. You know, and, and unless it's authentic gear that has your team name on it, you know, like LSU or Michigan or Ohio State or whoever. Unless it's a team shirt, it's stupid to pay the brand name prices. I mean, come on, man. They're all the same. Brad's, Brad's doing a $1,500 firework display. Wow. Man, I got no problem with that. Good for him. I'll tell you what. seems like Brad's got so much money. Why are we paying postal workers this much money? Uh, honestly. He steals birthday cards full of cash. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh. Oh. Wait a here. 
Andrew said you're a joke. Uh, really? Andrew, are you on here? Do you care to elaborate? Andrew, if you're listening, and what he said, that you, you think I'm a joke, don't text me. If you think I'm a joke, text me. Oh, wait, I did that backwards. <laughs> I've never banged a lot lizard. Andrew said you're the man, Father. I I think um I don't know if Andrew really said that. Um, but I, I, Andrew and I, I talk and, um, you know, Andrew doesn't always approve of, of what I say, but he, he never tells me I'm a liar. He, he might say, Jay, you went too far, but he doesn't say, Jay, you're a liar. I've never had Andrew call me and say, Jay, you're a fucking liar. Never. I've, I've had Andrew say, Jay, you went too far. But I've never, ever had Andrew call me a liar. Andrew's probably watching this. I better be careful. Andrew said you're a lost cause. I'll bet he did Andrew has faith in everybody. Look at, look at the fucking losers he keeps as friends. I mean, come on, man. Andrew doesn't give up on people. He's not like that. Andrew can see the good in people. Look at all the wonderful misfits Andrew has brought to you um, that some people might say are losers. You know, but they each have something to bring in the misfit world. What are pause deadlifts? Those ones where you stop midway up the thigh? That's fucking stupid. You, you want to pull a muscle in your back? Keep doing those pause deadlifts. Deadlifts, deadlifts should be ripped at speed, period. You train to do a deadlift slow, you're always going to be a slow deadlifter. Anybody who knows anything about strength knows that speed kills. You're never going to lift a heavy weight slow, ever. You see guys, you see guys that squat a thousand pounds. It usually doesn't slow down. They usually nail it. But I'm telling you, you slow down with a thousand pound squat. It's going down, man. It's going down. You're, you're not going to squeak out a slow thousand pound squat. So don't don't talk to me about pause lifting. You train for speed and explosiveness. Yeah, I, I don't know the current lingo with powerlifting. Powerlifting has gotten so gay. Like, 
I, I, I see I see guys I see guys on Instagram all the time. Guys that, that are basically powerlifting nobodies, um, meaning meaning they they don't have shit for a total, but you know they're they're doing reps with seven hundred. You know, uh -huh. I I seen a guy recently on on, on YouTube who, who did a double with over nine hundred pounds. It was like nine forty for two, and. You've never heard of this guy because he, he doesn't have shit for a squat. He doesn't have shit for a bench, you know, but, but he can get in, in his girlfriend's sumo stance and he, he can do a double with 940 or 920, whatever it was. It was over 900 pounds. It was awesome. Now, if you want to deadlift like your girlfriend, um, go for it, man. You want to be the, the king of your CrossFit gym? You know, keep doing your sumo debts. And you'll be the king of your CrossFit gym. Demon King, I'm not picking on you, bro. I, 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 are you pausing at the bottom or are you pausing halfway up? Really, deadlift should come to a dead stop at the bottom. Touch and go, you're, you're risking uh, tearing a hamstring. Pulse, not pause. Olympic lifters do pause deads. Someone sent me a video of Mark Henry doing pause deadlifts. Olympic lifters do a lot of fucked up shit. You can't mix um, training techniques that Olympic lifters use um, with, with powerlifting and bodybuilding. That you're, you're going to wind up getting hurt. Olympic lifters are training for one specific purpose, to snatch and clean and jerk as much as they can. So they don't care what their squat is. They don't care what their front squat is. They don't care what their deadlift is. They don't care about anything except clean and jerk and snatch. So. They're going to do some funny, stupid things that don't transfer into powerlifting or bodybuilding. That's, that's why, like, if, if you want to do if you want to do some Olympic lifting, but you want to stay somewhat of, of, of doing powerlifting slash bodybuilding. You need to take a look at the way um, football teams use the Olympic lifts, you know? If you want to get the explosiveness of an Olympic lifter, take a look at how um, college strength coaches use the snatch and the clean and jerk. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't even think fucking Michigan's does the snatch, right? I can't see 
guys at Alabama doing the snatch. If you had a guy that was a potential fucking first round draft pick like Derrick Henry, why would you have him doing a dangerous lift like the snatch? Ruckus says you're 400 pounds now. Well, then I'm ripped. Roll tide, baby. Nah. Olympic world record record for snatch is 192 kilo. Um, that seems light. I thought guys were snatching 500 pounds nowadays. Why do you want to kick everyone's ass? I can't kick anybody's ass. Lasha snatched almost 500, laughing out loud. I, I don't even know who that is, but... I think I remember, like, back in, like, 1996... Like a, a 440 Olympic snatch was pretty awesome. Even for the super heavyweights. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. You, dude, real Olympic lifting, like if you're doing the Olympic lifts correctly, they really don't translate well into sports. Like that's why I was telling you guys. Take a look at the way um, college strength coach um, used the Olympic lifts. Okay? That's, that's the way you want to be using the Olympic lifts. Don't train like an Olympic lifter. Train more like a football player. Unless you want to do Olympic lifting for real. It doesn't do you any good to, to go down ass to the grass to catch your cleans or catch your squats. I mean, snatches, because in, in any sport, you're never going ass to grass, ever. If, if you're going ass to grass in sports, you're probably getting your ass knocked over or run over or stepped on or something bad. If you want to train the Olympic lifts for sports, uh, I would recommend you use lat straps and you catch all your lifts high. Jay, have you ever had the sudden urge to commit genocide? Yes. Um, if, 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 if I was if I was a Reichs Marshal right now, and I, I had a, a, a a fucking tank division behind me, and I was rolling into a fucking Slavic community or country on the Eastern Front, and um. Before rolling forward, chasing the fucking retreating Soviets, I, you know, I, I, I might want to line up all the fucking Muslims in, in, against a wall and machine gun them down. 
think about it. Because let's just say you're not going to win the war on the retreat. If, if, if you already mowed down all the fucking Muslims, um, your retreat is going to be a lot easier. Commit genocide on the way out. That way, if you have to retreat, None of those undesirable people are in your way. So would you murder innocent infants and children? Um, well, in war, yes. I mean, you're asking a, a crazy question because Obviously, I'm never going to be a panzer tank commander in uh, Nazi Germany. But if I was, I, 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 I would have a, 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 I, I would implement fucking scorched earth. Like, the only people we left behind would, would be fucking Aryan. That way, if the, you know, when shit went bad and we had to retreat, everybody on the backside would be our allies. White or black socks in the gym? Uh, that's a great question. Dude, my girlfriend Linda makes fun of me all the time because I tell her that my black socks make me feel quicker. And, and she just breaks down laughing like, you're not quick. And I'm like, I know, but when I put my black socks on, I, I, I feel like I got moves, you know, like I'm Barry Sanders. You got to admit, I'm kind of built like Barry Sanders, you know. What's your favorite national anthem? Um, United States, Canada, and um, probably 1930s Germany. Would you rather be a PM or a Muslim? Probably a Muslim, because I could always convert to Christianity, right? Well, you asked. Linda wants to know what a PM is. She just texted me, what is a PM? She must be watching. Pacific Mountains, right. Linda, PM stands for a certain race of people, and the first word is porch. We say PM. We say PM so that, um, you know, the Zuckerbergs of the world can't flag our videos.
Linda is so disgusted with me. African American gentleman. That would be an AAG. AAG. See, I would never say AAG because I can say African American gentleman and it won't get flagged by Zuckerberg. See, that, that that's the beauty of the term African American gentleman. Is you can say that proudly and it won't get flagged. It's not racist. Father, do you hate all PMs? No. I I love um, my fellow Trump supporters who happen to be fine um, African American gentlemen. Those are good people. Those are union guys. You know, electricians, plumbers, carpenters, you know, roofers, fucking truck drivers. You know, factory workers, those, those fine African-American men are usually for Trump because they're not getting a free ride. They work hard. They provide for their family and they stay married and they believe in Jesus Christ. Most of those Trump supporter of PMs get publicity. Yeah. All right. I feel. Tell that bitch to quit texting. Thank you, Gito the dog. That was a great comment to read. Because I was reading a comment from Gito the dog. I wasn't directly talking to Linda. Thanks, Jay. That's me from Novi, Michigan. Black rogue? What do you mean? You're a black trumper? I love black Trumpers. See, that will, that's what makes me not racist. It is, I, I get together with some black Trumpers and I start to turn black. Uh, that, was, that was a little bit racist what I just said, but um, see, that's, that's the whole joke behind this whole racism thing. Thoughts on black hockey players? Well, if they earned it, they earned it. I, 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 you can't hold someone back because of their skin color. That's racism. I don't believe in that. If, if someone has the talent and the qualifications to do something, you can't hold them back on skin color. You just can't. Like, if I was going to put together a fucking army to take over this goddamn world, and, and, and there was a guy out there, a fine African-American gentleman, who, who, who was fit to be a general, you know, would I, would I take on someone weaker and more submissive who, who had less knowledge just because they were white? Hell no. Hell no. You always want to put together the strongest team. Period. You don't worry about race, creed, religion, color. You put together the strongest team you can. 
it, it, that's what separates me from the fucking woke people. Is the woke people want everything to be equal? No, 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 no. We're not going to deal with equality. Equality is bullshit. I judge people on their merits. If, if you were a fine African American gentleman, you know, married one time, and, and you're raising all your kids, and, and your, your kids aren't in prison, and your, your kids are like either in the military or off doing a trade or off to college, and, and, and you're really living life the right way, my dude. I'm not going to call that person a bad word. That's just ignorant. Those are the people we need to join the Republican Party. Those are the Trumpers of the world. Black men that, that, that are with their wife, raising their kids. See, here's the thing. It's funny and cool to tell racist jokes. I mean, it is a good gag. I mean, I like it. Um, but you know what? Do we really want to drive people away from the Trump movement by making them feel uncomfortable? Or should we welcome them? I say we should welcome them. And, and that's why I use the fucking term fine African-American gentleman. Because I mean what I mean. If, if you are a fine African-American gentleman, you're more than welcome in my circle of friends. But if, if, if you don't live up to that definition of what I just said, if you're not fine, if you're not a gentleman, get the fuck away from me. You're, you're a Democrat. Jay's the black job of the hut. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> Father. Everyone's picking on me. Play to win the game. Thoughts on PMs and LBGTQ ruining TV in Hollywood. Well, I don't watch TV or Hollywood. I wouldn't know. I mean, the the Grammys have, have been a fucking you know shit show for years. You, you know, you, you can be the 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 biggest the biggest hero in in, in rock and roll. You. You could be Kurt Cobain for crying out loud, and they're going to give the Grammy to, for the best fucking, you know, solo artist to a fucking fine American black gentleman. It's just the way the world is right now. Uh. Uh. Father. I was using Cobain as a great example because wasn't Trent Reznor dead too? Father. Trent's alive? Who am I thinking of? Soundgarden? I thought Trent Reznor was the singer of Soundgarden. I get my Seattle bands all fucked up.
Chris Cornell is dead. Chris Cornell expired. Uh, right, I see, I can't keep that shit straight. Because here's the deal. You know, in the beginning of the 90s, I was into those hair bands, you know. You know, most of the good bands wore makeup. And, you know, and they were they were fucking using blow dryers and hairspray on their hair. And, and they basically looked like broads. They were basically trannies doing rock and roll. And, and, and then the, the, the grunge movement came in. And, um, you know, hindsight being 2020, I think the grunge movement... Um, was, was probably the best thing that ever happened to rock and roll. But man, I fought it. I fought it. I did not like, I did not like the grunge movement when it was brand new. But now I, I think that's some of the best mu music that, that, that's ever been recorded. Like Nirvana, STP, Soundgarden. I mean, come on, man. Yeah. I don't like Lincoln Park. I do like Def Leppard. Stone Temple Pilots is awesome. I can't stand Lincoln Park. Three Day Grace. I think someone tricked me into saying someone's name. Brad. Alice in Chains. There you go, brah. Faith No More is weak. Faith No More had like one or two good songs. I wouldn't put them up there with the greats. Pearl Jam. Yeah. Pearl Jam's pretty good. I, I just, I, I can't stand that, that lead singer. He's, he's such a little fucking fairy. So un-American. So beta cuck. But they got some good music. And not really old man rock, bruh. You know, I'm telling you, when, when, when the when the grunge scene fucking hit in, in the early 90s, the, a, a, a lot of what you call old men, they weren't listening to the hair bands that, that were dominant at the time. These old men you're talking about were still doing the Zeppelin, the Skinner, you know, all that nonsense. It, it's all great music. I mean, I love classic rock. I'm just burned out on it. I can't listen to it anymore. You know what I mean? And it, it, the hair band stuff, I fucking love it because it. it, it you didn't hear it for such a long time. And now that now that people are starting to listen to it again, it's fucking cool, man. But that grunge never went away, man. The, those guys, those kids had some talent. I mean, obviously a lot of them were little drug addicted losers, you know, but they had talent. It's good music. I don't give two fucks. Death metal? I can't stand death metal. I, I like Metallica. And 
a few other hardcore bands. That's about it. I listened to Sex Pistols when I was in my teens. Anarchy for the UK. God Save the Queen. It's good shit right there. I didn't say Nirvana was a one-hit wonder. Dude, Nirvana Unplugged, is it, the whole CD is good. Father, when are we attacking Gorilla Juice in the UK? Well, we need more intel. Um, that address I have for him, I believe, is his mother's house. And I guess he only stays there some of the time. Now, I did get some... Someone did text me um, the name of the university where, where Gorilla Juice works. And um, I could probably find it. I, 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 it. It's just not handy at the moment. But we need to narrow it down. See, that's why I wish McCuck was back in the scene. Because McCuck had the Gorilla Juice on his heels. And then when McCuck completely went total pussy and, 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 and deleted his account and went off the fucking books, that, you know, I mean, I know I give McCuck a hard time, but McCuck was our only chance to truly defeat Gorilla Juice because of the intel McCuck was providing us. So now we're trying to develop, we're trying to get our own intel. And um, if I can find out the, uh, the name of the university where he works and his other address, because I got his mom's address. I, I wouldn't mind sending some fucking skinheads over there to throw his mom down a flight of stairs. Maybe he'll get the message. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe if Gorilla Juice's dad got beat up and his mom got thrown down a flight of stairs, maybe he would back off. So that's the goal. Gorilla Juice is Hobo Splendido in many numerous accounts. Why am I obsessed with this guy? Because he calls my mom and texts my mom nonstop while I'm live and calls me and texts me nonstop while I'm live. I'm not obsessed with him. He's obsessed with me. My mom's a total boomer. Like, she did, like, my mom doesn't even need to change her number because, like, she doesn't carry her phone around all the time. So she, she might, she might pick up her phone and see that she's got 50 text messages, you know? I don't know. 70 year old white women, like, they don't care if they have 70 fucking text messages. They're just, they're, 
their, their brain isn't triggered. Father, create ch chat for UK trolls. We can finish him. Ooh, that's a good idea. Big J's coffee mug. Um, Big J's coffee mug. I'm, I'll create that troll. Great idea. That's a great idea. Father. Father, show your guns. I don't have any guns. keep all my guns in an undisclosed location and then when I go to the gym in Broward and Palm Beach County I always carry a weapon so Pepper spray in Daytona, no. I don't get caught up in the ACDC controversy. Is Big J's coffee mug still on here? I thought about your idea, and um, I'm going to create. I'm going to create the chat group, um, but I'm going to. I'm going to put a couple of my people in the chat group that aren't from the UK um, just, just to help me vet people. And then, um, like, if you want me to add people, you can add people, but I'm going to have to approve them. So you're going to have to DM me and give me the background if I don't know who they are. If, if they're a familiar account, I'll okay them, but if it's an account I don't recognize, everyone's going to have to talk about it. So I'm, I'm probably going to put my two Canadians on the case. George Floyd just said I tried to cash a bad check. So
Gorilla Juice became obsessed with me when, when Hamburg went private and the cuck went private. You know, his two favorite targets completely turned into pussies. So, so then he turned to me, you know. Uh, Rob Lynn Bailey. I, I don't know you. Okay. See, here's the deal. I gotta put a couple of people in my in the group just to make sure some of you aren't really gorilla juice. My two Canadians are, are, are two of my, my best investigators that I've trained. I got two Canadians that will sniff out an anti-J account that's just trying to troll. Dumb and dumber. Eh, we'll see. No, I'm not the bedroom bully on anywhere. stoned father no I don't do drugs I don't drink I don't carry handguns in the gym so if you're ooey and gooey and you're you're thinking you're gonna fucking fight me in the gym I'm gonna run a 357 right through your fucking chest this 357 I don't actually own a 357 yet but after looking at this gun it, it, it's my next gun who needs to carry a big 45 automatic around everywhere just put a little 357 in your pocket People that say ooey and gooey want to punch you, you shoot them. And then when the cops show up, you say, hey, this guy attacked me. I couldn't defend myself. Look at the scars on my knee. I'm a fucking cripple. This guy's half my age. Ooey and gooey. I'll shoot anybody. I'll shoot. Him. See, that's the nice thing about Florida. You don't have to call 911. <clears throat> Very upset. Eat smoke. Are you 
usually prey on truckers to walk by smoking. I'm like, hey, bro, you got a smoke? Hey, bro, what's up, man? You got a smoke? I'm running out of time. Psych, yeah, yeah. We call it bumming for a reason. I'm getting fun. No, you you call it bumming a cigarette. What what do you call it when um Lenny and Big Rob Fitness, or I mean, I'm sorry, Rob Zilla, show up at the at the Big Lenny at the, the um. Big, big bread wolf plantation looking for a meal they can't afford. Come on, man. That's not bumming. Come on, man. I'm looking for a cigarette. You're talking about a, a complete class of people that, that I, they might not even like because he's going to feed them a meal. Man, I don't want to speak for Brad, you know, because Brad wouldn't appreciate that. But shit, when I when I used to be friends with Brad a long time ago, Brad didn't even like Robzilla. So I have a feeling Brad has Robzilla out there for steak just to spite me. I'm the reason Robzilla's out there eating steak. Don't think it's true? Ask them. Your whole life has been a handout even cigarettes and piss. It is piss. I just need a smoke. Fuck. Welfare six. Yeah, I don't want to go buy a whole pack. Come on, man. I'm ready for bed. So, I'm just thinking, let's just say Lenny goes to jail next month, so there'll be no filming, no Patreon, what, what's Rob Zilla going to be living on? Like, If Lenny goes to jail, could this be the end of Robzilla? I mean, come on, man. Why don't we, here's a good deal, Here, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something you guys didn't see me doing, I'm going to turn the tables on the trolls and do something you guys didn't see coming, Prince Andrew, 
You listening? We need to build up a kitty in in the Patreon account for Rob in case Lenny goes to jail. Does anyone disagree with me? I think we should all start contributing to the Patreon so that, so that Rob um, can afford afford to do drugs, cycle, and 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 party while Lenny's in in jail. Yes, I believe that. Why don't we do that? Come on, maniacs. What kind of misfits are you? Don't you want the ments? You want the ments? I mean, come on. You guys say you want the ments. And now, you know, but Lenny's about to go to jail. Come on, man. The Linda just sent me a fucking nasty text message. She doesn't understand my sarcasm. Linda doesn't understand I'm trolling you guys when I say con contribute to the Patreon to keep Rob fucking... <laughs> I even tricked Linda. Jesus Christ. I need to get a smarter girlfriend. Why is my girlfriend so fucking stupid? Fuck. Linda just ruined my troll program. I was trying to tell you guys to contribute to the Patreon to keep Rob alive while Lenny went to jail. And Linda just sent me a text message saying, fuck that, shut the fuck up, fuck Rob. And right. 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 Here's the deal. The mid, the Genovaverse is all fucked up. You got Cassidy Campbell. Uh, you, you know, come on, man. And you got Lenny, you know, court date. Got Big Rob Fitness down here. All these vultures. Vultures circling the fucking corpse, thinking Lenny's going to fucking jail. Did you ever see Big J? Look, has Big J ever circled the fucking corpse while, while, while Big Lenny is awaiting, awaiting his sentence? Or is Big J just continue to do what he do. Look at all the people moving in to fucking feed off the corpse. And I'm telling you, if, 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 Lenny, if, if Lenny gets time in jail, I don't know how Rob Zilla is going to survive. I, I, from what I heard, he don't have a job. And Cassie Campbell, his time is limited. The, the, the moment, the moment he crosses the misfits, uh, the trolls are going to prey on him and ruin him. Because he's here on borrowed time, hiding from problems from somewhere else. You know what I mean? The, the, the fans are just being a little bit tolerant of Cassidy Campbell, like, well, 
you know, guy's a scumbag, but, uh, you know, he is providing the mints, so we'll put up with it. Well, the minute you're not ready to put up with it, you won't. You hear me? The minute you're not willing to put up with it, you won't. Casey Campbell's a fucking scumbag. He, he, he's like John Bravo in a fucking Dodgers jersey. I mean, get rid of this guy. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Jealousy. I'm laughing my ass off. Who am I jealous of? Who am I jealous of? Uh, am I jealous of Andrew? Who's got a great YouTube account? Yes. I'm jealous of Andrew. Am I jealous of Lenny? Who, who, who's a two-time felon, possibly going to jail? Um, no. Am I jealous of Rob Zilla? Someone who... who might wind up homeless if Lenny goes to jail? No. Am I jealous of uh, Big Rob Fitness, who's a Muslim? No. If, am I jealous of Cassidy Campbell, who's up on rape allegations and who's just generally a scumbag? No. If I, who did I miss? Am I jealous of, of who did I miss? Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Who am I jealous of? Who am I jealous of? You guys think I'm jealous of who? I'm going to tell you what, here's the truth. If Johnny Bravo had proof that Cassidy Campbell was a fucking scumbag, I think he would have, he would have sent it to me by now. Johnny Bravo is the biggest bluffer in the fucking world. For some reason, Cassie Campbell is still running scared. I don't know why, but I don't want any part of him. These people are... Cassandra. Who's Cassandra? I'm 
thing about Cassandra McCarthy. Jesus Christ. Talk, fat boy. Father. Yeah. Transform access gang. Okay. Then get off my channel, brah. I'm just a loser. How did the investigation go about you, your father? Now, we haven't heard shit. like this.
going to have to end it. Linda's vampire daughter is hot. Now, she really should should start to fucking show her appreciation for fucking what I've brought to her life, and that's Glenn Danzig and the and the Misfits. Like, you know, she's doing her thing, you know, thinking like videos of fucking raccoons is cool. said fuck off. Uh, how about we went, how about we attack Linda? Linda just said fuck off. You mean fuck off. I, I was trying to be nice. I, I didn't think Lindsay's page would be better if if she wants to be a real vampire. Like if she took on some of the of, of the rock art um, that's associated with Glenn Danzig and the Misfits, like like if Lindsay did a fucking skull face, like of of the Misfits skull, dude, holy crap, um, you know. We can get her some followers, you know. She's got talent with makeup, and um, you know, like for for Dale's next show, um, like I've already talked to Linda and Lindsay about this, um. For, for Dale's next show, um, Lindsay is going to be putting the, the Misfits skull on my face for Dale's show. And her makeup services are, are, are for sale. And, um, you know... If you guys want to, they don't know she's an artist. Linda, they follow her page. Look at her makeup. She's awesome. Imagine Dale coming out at the ruby and there's like 20 of us with the misfit faces on see if we if we get a if, if we get a, a like here's the deal Lindsay could probably do the misfit skull on the face for for everybody at a bargain rate for Dale's show in Coconut Creek. So she, she's a makeup artist. She's wonderful. Um, you know, we, we love her. And her, her mom is very sexy. And, um, you know, 
imagine if Dale showed up to the Ruby and there were like 20 people in the fucking audience with a misfit skull makeup on their face. Right. Oh, Linda's tr still trying to argue with me. On... Does anybody have a problem with, with Linda's daughter being a makeup artist and a bunch of us showing up to Dale's show with the misfit skull on our face? I think it sounds awesome. For some reason, Linda's got her panties in a wad. Dale claims he's doing the fucking Ruby. Coconut Creek High School. Or, no, Brad's High School. Fucking Glades Road, whatever. Boca, whatever. I'll have to fight Robzilla. I'll have to fight fucking all sorts of people if I show up. I'm just gonna bring my 357 in my pocket. I'm not going to fight Robzilla. I'm going to shoot him. Period. I'm 52 years old. I'm not fighting that guy in his 20s. If Robzilla's talking about sucker punching me, good luck. Thank you. 